Hey everybody, I'm keeping myself a little bit busy today and I'm going to be making some dumplings to go in my black eyed peas. Well, I got some news, so I wanted to go ahead and share it with my YouTube family so that you guys can be praying as well. <clears throat> my brother is a truck driver and he delivers anything from grains to syrups to just all kinds of stuff so that America can eat. <laughs> so he's one of those truckers that you've prayed for. Well, he was not feeling very well and he was running a fever, with had a cough for a couple of days, so that warranted a rapid testing for the COVID-19 virus. So we got that done and it was positive. So as he was sent home to just uh, stay hydrated and to start taking some vitamins, they wanted his wife to go find a meter to be able to read his oxygen levels and to keep track of those. She had a really hard time trying to find an oxygen meter, but she did. And a few hours ago, you have to remember that this is Saturday and you won't be seeing this until tomorrow. A few hours ago, his oxygen levels were at 92, so at least they were still in the 90s, but he was still having a very, very hard time breathing. He is asthmatic, and every time he hauls grain, he goes through an asthmatic attack and starts coughing, and it's hard to breathe. But with the fever accompanying that, that's why the test was warranted. That was Friday evening. Well, Saturday morning, they went ahead and took him to the ER. Um, he had uncontrollable diarrhea, was one of the symptoms that he had, and he was still having a horrible time breathing. So as he's in the ER, his wife has to wait in the waiting room, but she won't be there long because they don't let you stay in there. Well, they eventually do move my brother to a room that has a door on it. So he's out from amongst the whole ER situation. And he'll be in this room until somebody assesses him. He has to be assessed alone by himself, just with a doctor and a nurse and himself. His wife was instructed to go out and wait in the car as she could no longer stay in the eight in the ER. So as she's waiting and getting a few things done that she needs to get done, she's waiting on news. Now my brother lives several hours from me and it's very hard to go through this without being close. So no matter how hard it is though, my faith is still very strong. And I do pray for God's peace for his wife and the doctors and for Doug. And I ask peace for myself. My husband prayed with me today. And as we were praying for peace and for healing, we also prayed that God would forgive us because we know ourselves and we know that doubt and fear will creep back in in this time of waiting and wanting to know what's going on with my brother. So I want to encourage you today that keep strong faith, but don't forget to pray for his forgiveness because when we're in fear, we're out of God's will because God does not want us to fear. God wants us to trust Him, that He knows best, that He is in control. And all things, all things work to the good, to those according to His will. So, if you love him and you have someone that has tested positive for COVID-19, the coronavirus, or if you're dealing with someone who has cancer, 
or pneumonia, the flu, or even a cold. There's so many things out there that we can get you guys. Our bodies are full of viruses and our atmosphere is raging with things out there that we can't control. But just know this, you guys. God loves you. And he loves me. And he doesn't want us to be fearful. So even if I have to pray a hundred times, today, I will. Because even though you're not fearing, your heart can still be heavy. And your heart can still be sad. The Bible talks about what God does with your tears. And uh, I believe that to be true as well. Okay, so if you're still in the mood, guys, <laughs> let's make some dumplings to go with my black-eyed peas. I also wanted to share with you today that I have a bowl. Can't see it very well. I don't know my lighting. I have a bowl that has pine needles in it a lime slice that had been dried, and some peppermint leaves. And while I'm baking today, I just have this sitting on the stove. It's warm, and those are ingredients that will help cleanse your air. So it's a good thing to have every day. You can put it in a crock pot. You can put it on the stove with some water, however you want to do that. It's a good thing to have just going throughout your house pine needles, peppermint leaves, and a lemon or an orange slice. I think lemons work best. All right, let's get our dumpling mix. I'm not gonna measure anything, and I'm just making them basically for me because John doesn't like beans of any sort. So, I'm gonna put some flour in there. A little bit of baking powder. Right over there. Put an egg. Some milk. You kind of want it the consistency of maybe like a biscuit, between a biscuit and a pancake. At least that's how I do mine. And you can put salt in it if you want to. These are going to be drop dumplings, by the way. They're not going to be rolled out and cut. That's better. All right, I'm going to make sure that my beans are boiling. All right, you can see a little bit of boiling going on there. I'm just gonna take a teaspoon. Drop them in there.
Okay, that made about 17 nice sized dumplings. And as you can see, they just keep getting bigger and they'll just puff up. And I'm just going to continue to let them boil until I think they're done. I will come back and stir them in a little bit. They just keep puffing up bigger and bigger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stir these. Oh, yes. That look good. Black eyed peas and dumplings. And you don't want to stir them too soon, so you want to let them cook between three and five minutes before you even try to stir them. And that makes them nice and big and fluffy. Mmm. Yummy. I can't wait. I do want to show you that that little bitty teaspoon turned into this great big dumpling. So I got some good sized dumplings. This is a big serving spoon, by the way. <laughs> all right, you guys. That's all I'm going to have today for this simple Sunday video. I love you, and thank you so much for watching my channel and just being there to support each other. And I hope that I'm there to help you and support you as well. Leave a comment if you'd like. I would love to be able to talk to you guys and just get to know you a little bit as you get to know me have a great day go out